Right on, Evil and Strange with Invisible Man. What a great rock and heavy tune that was. Really lyrically and wow, great tune. Yeah, I, I love Evil and Strange. Uh, they are so tight and such a high level of musicianship. Uh, Philip is an amazing vocalist. Uh, they write great tunes. They do. <laughs> yeah, we we're we're really big fans of these guys, and we actually know them. And they're just, and on top of everything else, they're just the nicest guys. But man, Philip Strange can just give a master class on rock vocals. He can do it all. He's got such range and passion, and it just it's just amazing. He can do with a piece of music. It's outstanding, actually, isn't it? Like. I was listening to the vocals, and at first I was like, oh, he sounds a bit like Meatloaf. And then I was like, oh, he sounds a bit like, sounds a bit like David Coverdale. And then it was just like, uh, I, I kept going through different rock singers. I was like, do you know what? He doesn't sound like uh. any of them. He just sounds like him, and it's really yeah. good. Um, there was a real nice kind of, uh, uh, you know, Led Zeppelin Cashmere. It had that kind of vibe throughout the track, the way it built the chord progression and all that, which was really cool. Um, it reminded me a little bit of um, my favourite Silver Chair album, which is Neon Ballroom, which has uh, kind of all the nice arrangements right. in the background. Um, and, and, and once again, Brian and I, um, one man standing, got uh, pumped up because there was a big wire pedal solo, which we love. Uh -huh. um, so that was just like... Tick, tick, tick. Thanks very much. Can I have the album, please? That was brilliant. Uh, proper rocking. Yeah, it was It was a great tune. I mean, it definitely hit all the check marks for me, too. Uh, you know, the, the solo was fantastic. And, you know, the, the vocals uh, The vocals were definitely unique. Um, it's funny that you mentioned the cover, Dale, because his name kind of popped into my head as I was going through everything. And I was like, oh, man, yeah, I could kind of feel that, too. But it was, it was kind of funny. As, uh, as I was listening to uh, you know the solo, it, it, it just it just ripped. It was great, but it had such a it, the the guitar tone and, and the bass and everything together it was so heavy. It had such a good like just chunk to it. Um, so I was really digging that actually. Like I could just listen to the whole band. You know, it's just like duh, duh, duh. I was like, wow, that's awesome. You know, it, it definitely hit all the all the check marks. It was great, great tune. So next up is new one, but she was loud. So the happiness is called the the Emmy of Art. Do this.
He goes out, the Emmy, having this Emmy of Art, did this really cool tune. Wow, really loud, really vocal, really great tune. Yeah, the vocals were really impressive. They had some really interesting harmonies going on. Uh, I liked the kind of experimental nature of the music. Uh, it was a good tune. Honestly, I don't think I've ever th heard anything quite like it. Yeah, I mean, it started off with the parallel vocals, and then it went into harmonies, and they'd go back and forth between natural vocals and then affected, and it, the song was all over the board, kind of, but it worked really well. It was a really unusual thing. Mike? It really was. It had, uh, it, uh, <laughs> well, first of all, I thought that was brilliant, so... Uh, let's just get that out there because I don't know how I'm going to describe it, but you should all know I liked it. Um, it was, it was, there was almost like a song within a song at the end. Like there was a bit that I thought was going to be the outro, and then it went back into kind of something that was more like the first bit, and that became the outro. And I was just like, wow, uh, that's really interesting. Um, I was really psyched. I really liked, uh, as you guys have already touched on, the, the the way that the vocals kind of came in and out of harmonies and um, singing together and all the rest of it. Um, uh, yeah, it was great. I've got a feeling, you all know better than I, um, Bonesy, but I've got a feeling we've played a track of theirs before, and yep. I was equally confused and impressed. Um, but yeah, it's very, very, very good. I uh, really like them. Yeah, it was it was wild, the way that all the different harmonies were coming out of that. It was absolutely crazy, and it had so many different turns in that song. I mean, you, you just didn't know which way to go. It was just amazing, you know, how, how quick everything just came together and before I knew it the song was over it was wild uh, there was lots of different aspects to that song and it was it was pretty deep it was cool I enjoyed it it was good right on so next up is a band a song called Singing Feeling this one called Vanilla Wafer Singing Feeling do this <laughs> 